In this video, we are going to solve the question whether and when it makes sense to use synchronous modeling within our designs. And I'm going to talk about my top three synchronous modeling features that I use in order to increase stability of my designs. Maybe you have had bad experience with this just because people tend to use synchronous modeling in order to modify parametric designs. Parametric design is meaning that we have everything we need in order to make modifications. And anyway, instead of searching for the proper uh, location in order to make your modification, people tend to use synchronous modeling. And this is something I do not recommend, of course. But if it is possible to increase stability of your design, it really makes sense to use synchronous modeling, especially because synchronous modeling allows us to use selection rules, which we don't have within our default features. Like maybe you have already recognized in my cat secret YouTube videos. Today, I want to show you my top three synchronous modeling commands, which you can use in order to increase your model stability. Before I start, this first part is just a demo. The next part will be an entire design process where you can follow all the steps and try all the three synchronous modeling favorites of mine, which I use to increase model stability. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Simon from BizLearn. Hi, and welcome to a new NXCAD Secrets video on my YouTube channel. First synchronous modeling command I'd like to talk about is the following. I've created a revolve here and the following scenario. I can move the position of my rod to, to a random location like here. And somehow the length towards the basic object needs to be controlled, needs to be update stable. So what I did in order to guarantee stability is within the revolve, you can see it clearly, the sketch is very short. And by using open profile smart volume, this line is going to be enlarged until it meets the next and within here selected surface in order to create a volume that can be united or maybe for some circumstances subtracted. Anyway, this video is not about open profile. If you're not familiar with this, no worries, because in my next uploads, I'm going to talk about open profile in detail. I'm just going to deactivate this and also the Boolean operation. And the reason I'm talking about this solution, the next solution is that within one of my live webinars, one of my participants was using replace instead. And I think that's a very good example for using replace. But uh, first of all, let's think about um, different solutions, common solutions where we can use uh, the defaults here. If you're not familiar with open profile, maybe you would have created a very long rod here, extraordinary long in order to maintain stability and use trim body instead. But anyway, there comes a time when the length is too high and this rod is too short. And also I don't want a huge sketch. I want my sketch to be modular and small and have a good overview, which you don't have when your lines are very long. So what you can use here is a replace. This is my number three favorite synchronous modeling command, a replace. Very simple to use. Select the original face and select the replacement face, which is right here. The top surface of the extrude, I've selected body faces instead, but I can right click and use single face as a selection rule. Works very fine and also when the sketch is too long, it might be a little bit longer and intersect my geometry, it doesn't matter because it's going to be replaced anyway. So it doesn't matter whether you have an intersection with your replacement face or not. It's going to be replaced and maintained stable. Very nice. Also, because you don't have to create a Boolean operation, maybe you have to add some more details to your first module, to your first body. And afterwards, create your Boolean operation. This would be possible by using replace face instead of open profile smart volume. Of course, we will have to unite and 
just remember I'm going to link the bowling effect video on the upper right of this video because it's very important for you to consider selecting the older body as a target and the newer body as a tool. The range of your selection, the order of your selection of the Boolean objects is very important to maintain stability, etc. Now I can use Edge Blend and create my blend by using Feature Intersection Edges, a one click on the Boolean operation. So Feature Intersection Edges in this case is a relation not to a specific edge, but to the entire Boolean operation unite in order to create the edge blend. So this is one use case. And of course there are several opportunities. I'm going to show you a further use case within the next part, which I'm going to create from scratch now in order to show you my number two and number one synchronous modeling commands. Therefore, I'm going to create a new file Something very simple like a bowl, which I'm going to create. This is my bowl and I will start directly with the extrude. Something very simple. I will select my plane. I will create a rectangle. As simple as it can be. Right click directly, finish sketch. The fastest way to finish a sketch. I'm going to change direction as well. And the selection rule. If you right click here, there is no selection rule enabled, as you can see. And the expectation is that reach and boundary curves is used. But reach and boundary curve is not very update stable. It's not recommended. I've also created a video there for which I'm going to link on the upper right now as well about reach and boundary curve and how to avoid problems. It's my most successful video on YouTube, up to 50,000 views already. I'm going to use feature curves instead. Right click. Now you see it's enabled and I'm going to confirm. Now I'm going to add some edge blends related to the entire body. And now I'm going to show you my second favorite command because this shall be open upon here. So there is no edge blend required here. And also the edge blend on the bottom shall be different. I'm going to use delete. Therefore, I've created some videos already about how to use delete and what benefits we have. I'm also going to link one video on the upper right now so you can follow the details. This is my second favorite synchronous modeling command and delete. And I'm going to use, I'm just going to reset this. You can see the default here is single phase. But one reason why I use delete is adjacent faces is a selection rule, which is available here. And I'm going to select the top surface of the extrude as well as the bottom surface. Just let me enter this again, like here. And all the adjacent faces are going to be deleted. And the trick here is that an extrude only has one bottom and one top surface, not less, not more. So this is going to maintain stable and I can now rearrange the sketch. Like for example, replace the rectangle by a polygon or anything else. And all the edges are going to be rounded. All the corners are going to be rounded. It's going to maintain stable. We will see afterwards. Now I'm going to add a different radius on the bottom, but maybe let me just increase the value here. By using edge blend again, face edges. This is the bottom of the extrude. So this is going to maintain stable as well. And I'm going to use five mils in here. Now I'm going to open the bowl, of course, by using the shell function and the open uh, type, which is the default here. Wall thickness shall be two millimeters. So delete phase, very nice in order to increase your model stability, especially concerning the edge blends. But I'm going to show you a further use case soon in a few seconds. Let me just do a modification within here. 
and see whether this is update stable. So therefore I'm going to enter the sketch while right click, edit sketch and replace the curves by something else, something more random. There is no review required. And as you can see, it's update stable. Tons of videos I've uploaded already about this delete face opportunity, this cat secrets in order to increase your model stability. I'm just going to undo the setting and just go ahead. Before I talk about my number one, I want to show you another use case for delete face. And therefore I'm going to create an extract. I want to demonstrate you how to create a inner volume body. And therefore I'm going to create an extract, right click, extract body here and just hide the rest and use delete as well. This is a second use case for my number two favorite synchronous modeling command delete. And I am going to delete in this case, the tangent faces, I'm going to create a relation to the bottom of the extrude. Do not select here because this one is driven by a curve with from the sketch. And if I replace the sketch, it's not going to maintain stable. So I will select the bottom of the extrude and also the top surface, which is a single face, which is this one. And once I've selected those faces, they're going to be deleted and a cap is created upon here. So this is how to create inner volume. As you can see, looks pretty nice. I'm just going to adjust the translucency here. This is how to create inner volume. By the way, if you have some, some kind of fill level here, because the bowl is not completely filled with water or something, you can also use replace again in order to create a relation to this and use the offset value. in order to define your fill level. Maybe this is fill level is five. Now it's driven by a user expression. Name is value. As you can see here, the fill level works very nice. Also a very nice use case replace in combination with offset. And of course there are other opportunities. So this is not a required function here as compared to this situation where we also have open profile, but if you're not familiar and sometimes open profile is not suitable, replace face shall be used. So you have seen my number three replace face. You have seen my number two delete face and two use cases for delete face, two use cases for replace face. So what is my number one synchronous modeling command that I recommend using? in order to increase model stability, in order to have um, associated behavior of your updates. It is the group. I want to color the outer faces of my bowl. You could use edit object display, but the problem with this is that it's not associative. So if you collect faces, the tangent outer faces of your bowl, it's not going to be associative. If you modify the section with an extrude, the faces are not going to be updated. So you will have to reselect. So group face is my number one command. Group face does not modify geometry. It does not create new geometry. It allows you just to collect body objects faces. I'm going to start this. I'm going to use tangent faces and now be careful. Do not select here because this face is driven by the section, by the sketch. But if you select here, this face is the bottom surface of the extrude. So it's going to maintain stable because it will always exist as long as the extrude exists. And I'm going to confirm, right click now the group face and use assign feature color. This opportunity is available, I guess, since NX9 as well as group face. So the opportunity to create a color association to specific amount of faces in an associative manner has been available since NX9. Assign feature color, specify, mint, okay. 
And here you see the color which is associated to the grouped faces, which is driven by a selection rule, is meaning that when I right click here, edit sketch and modify the profile, I forgot something, I forgot something. I'm not going to delete the video. There's something you have to consider. I should have reset the command as I, I tend to do always when I do demonstrations. I forgot to do, but I'm, I'm just going to right click. You can see it's not stored associatively. Maybe you have seen before and wondered. So if you reset, you can see this one is enabled by default. Just because of a demonstration, maybe it wasn't. I'm going to right click again, assign feature color and enable this button here. Now it's associative, but I will have to specify a color. Now it's associative and now it's update stable. Sorry for the circumstance, but I think this is something you might also forget and now you see why things behave maybe differently. The best thing to do is to reset command because everything I show you usually beside of this tiny mistake is based on the default settings. So if I right click now, edit sketch. No review required. And you see everything behaves update stable. These were my top three synchronous modeling commands, which I used in order to increase model stability. Some cat secrets for you, maybe if you're watching my videos for the first time, Please then also watch the other videos about my cat secrets. I'm going to link the playlist below this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below about synchronous modeling in context of a parametric design. I am looking forward to your replies. If you like this video, give it a thumb up. And if you have not subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe and also enable the annotation toggle. Thanks for watching until now. Have a nice day. Goodbye.